Hi, we're going to talk about Axie Infinity today, currently at 72 US dollars. And look at this incredible pump. The price is exploding and the token is now at place 31 in terms of market cap. So we're looking at 4 billion of market cap. Trading volume is up more than 700% in the last 24 hours. So something is really going on here. And I was wondering, is this just like a huge pump and dump? Or is there any substance actually to this? Because this kind of rally is definitely super impressive. So what we're going to do is we will not just look at Axie Infinity, we will also look at Axie Infinity's other token, the SLP token. We will compare those two tokens. And then we will do some technical analysis, right? So this is the US dollar chart. We will also have Axis Infinity valued in Ethereum. So the AXS token divided by the Ethereum token, AXS, that's pretty hard to pronounce. And we've got the relative performance of AXS to SLP, things like that. So we look at a bunch of interesting charts and try to find out, does it make sense to now jump on this incredible rise over here? So first of all, what I found very interesting is this Axie Infinity token is used for a game, a crypto game similar to Crypto Kitties. You can play that game and earn real money. And when you look at the player distribution of Axie Infinity, you find out that a lot of them are based in quote unquote developing countries. So Philippines, things like that. Because when you play this really heavily, what I've heard from a video made by Coin Bureau is that you can earn around 1000 US dollars per month. So that's a lot for the Philippines, obviously. So I'll also link the video of Coin Bureau in the description below in the video description. It's very well researched. It has a lot of fundamentals around Axie Infinity. So definitely check this out as well. This video here, though, is mainly about technical analysis. So now what's interesting is, is this all just hype by the crypto community or is there actually real adoption happening? And one way to find this out is simply to look at Google Trends, right? How much is Axie Infinity searched? And we can see there's really a massive increase happening here. The top here is in the middle of July. Interestingly enough, though, the price top was not in the middle of July. So we did get a further pump of 200% while trading volume did decline. So that's interesting. If you compare this to, for example, Chili's and you just look at Google Trends for Chili's, you find a very strong correlation between trading volume, searches on Google Trends and the price. But here we've got now a price increase that is pretty much decoupled from Google searches and also from trading volume. So there seems to be something really fundamentally going on. Axis Infinity seems to really build its own little virtual economy and that seems to push this price up. There is real adoption happening. This seems to not just be token speculation. You can also search for Axie Infinity within YouTube, look at people playing. There seems to be a real use case here. Now if you look at the US dollar performance since inception, we are looking at an almost 500x. This is out of this world. 500x is really, really massive. And this is even in less than a year. And if we were to even compare this to Ethereum, right, where a lot of altcoins, they fail this test. When you divide the altcoins price by Ethereum, you very often see the altcoin underperforming. Many altcoins, they bleed against Ethereum, not so much for Axis against Ethereum, we see an outperformance of 60x. And so I'm just very fascinated by this. I haven't seen any altcoin like this recently. This is definitely not the norm. Now there's another token called the SLP token, right? The Smooth Love Potion token. So you can earn this within the game. I think it even hasn't been pre-sold or anything. This is completely community generated. And here the performance doesn't look as good, right? This is pretty much flat. If we compare this to Ethereum, we see an underperformance. So for whatever reason, this doesn't look too great. Let's look at the chart of Axis divided by SLP. And sure enough, Axis is obviously outperforming. Now, does it make sense to jump on this right now? We are currently at 72 US dollars and we have come a long way. This is obviously very hard to answer. But what I normally look at is trading volume. And very often what we can see is when trading volume increases a lot together with price that we are 
potentially in a dangerous situation. So for example, let's look at Dogecoin. This is the prime example of this pattern. When we have a cryptocurrency that gets hyped a lot, where in this case, Elon Musk tweets, a lot of excitement builds up, a lot of trading volume builds up, then the price shoots up. But what then happens is that this short-term attention, it goes away, right? The news is old, excitement fades, attention is now on another coin. And so the cryptocurrency that was hyped up tends to fall. And these bleeds after a pump, they can be pretty significant. So let's just look at Dogecoin's early days. So we have this big volume increase together with price increase, then the attention drops and the price drops, right? In this case, by more than 50%. So let's go further. Again, we got our volume increase. And in this case, we didn't bleed directly afterwards, just a little bit. So this doesn't have to happen. It just can happen. And now here in July, 2000, a real pump happened, right? Let's look, just look at the magnitude at this comparison. This was the usual trading volume and then boom, July came. And of course, huge price increase and afterwards excitement goes down and with it price falls by in this case, 37% and even further and even further. And so this is the dangerous situation. You don't want to be in a hyped phase when trading volume goes up and you pick up too late on those trends because potentially you can fall quite a bit. It doesn't have to happen, but it can. What I tend to prefer are price increases that happen without large volume increases. And when we now switch back to Axie Infinity again, what we can see is that the recent pump that we're seeing over here is not necessarily driven by additional attention. Even if we compare this to Ethereum, the volume doesn't even look that different. This pump is not necessarily volume driven. So does this mean that this is a safe bet? No, obviously not, right? But you might hear this already from the intonation of my voice in this video. If you're looking for a short-term bet on a short-term trade where you might consider jumping on the hype train and maybe use trailing stop losses, then this might be a potential opportunity. No financial advice, of course, right? It's still your money. Don't risk too much. This is still super speculative, super risky. But what you can do is basically hedge yourself a little bit. What you can do is say, put your stop loss to a maximum of say a 30, 40% drop and then ride the wave up. Because what you don't want is you don't want to jump on this train and then exit way too late, right? You don't want to wait until we drop like 70% or 80%. During those pumps, you need to be fast. You need to limit your downside risk and you need to place them in a way where you're hopefully not the very last person that gets in on the hype. Now, how much more room do we have to grow? We currently have a market dominance of 0.2% of overall crypto being the AXX token. If you want to put this into comparison, Dogecoin is approximately 100 times larger. Not saying that AXS will go 100x from here, but I think there are obviously projects that have less substance to it that are way larger. So simply risk versus reward. Dogecoin has probably seen a lot of its potential realized already. Axie Infinity has not. There's definitely more room to grow here. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give this a like. YouTube will then help to spread the message. Don't forget to subscribe as well. And since those videos, they are time sensitive, you might consider hitting notifications as well. You don't want to see those videos when they're two months old, right? Then they might be already outdated. Last but not least, we've got a Telegram channel. We are currently approximately 150 people over there. It's completely spam free. If you've got questions about any of the videos on this channel, you can ask me here as well. And last but not least, feel free to comment whatever cryptocurrency you would like to get discussed you would like to get analyzed on this channel, the comment section of this video is your platform to make such requests. See you next time. Bye-bye.